Like, I literally had dreams of that. Sleep. I'm sleeping. Having dreams of getting drafted one day. It's crazy that's here. It's crazy. That's so wild. What's up, Detroit fans? We going under the hood. That's about. <laughs> All right, give me dap. All right. The idea of writing the book really started when I was enshrined to the Hall of Fame four years ago. And I think at that moment I said, you know, this, this is a time where I'm reflective, a time where I'm sort of looking and appreciating the totality of my career. I think that ultimately was the spark that led me to take on this project and lo and behold here we are with, with, with the book. 1994, Indianapolis, the draft. I knew that if Milwaukee or Dallas, who had the first and second pick, I knew if they didn't take me that Detroit was going to take me. And I was nervous because I didn't want to go to those places. When Dallas selected Jason Kidd with the second pick. And I think our table was more excited that Dallas drafted him than maybe his table. I mean, we because I knew that's where I was going to Detroit and I was fired up. With the third pick in the 1994 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Grant Hill from Duke University. Just excited, like obviously, about to embark on a journey that I never could have imagined, to be a third pick, to go to a franchise that had won championships. It's always good to go where you want to go, and that was where I wanted to be, and there was a great sense of excitement uh, for what was in store. collecting intelligence, and, uh, interviewing uh, the prospect, and getting to know the prospect, and uh, running that prospect through the process. So uh, there's a lot of work to be done other than just what you see on the floor. Our guiding principle is making sure we get the person right and make sure we are excited and ready to go at number five. Here in Detroit, they've had tremendous success in building a team off of uh, blue collar mentality. And Isaiah Thomas having an incredible period. Deep to Reggie Miller, shot blocked by Tayshaun. And Ben goes up and blocks the shot, and Shaq is on the floor. So we want to, you know, continue that tradition, bringing in players that fit that identity, play selfishly, play together, and bring their hard hats. And uh, we'll stay true to that as we continue to build the team. Tonight. We have the biggest night of the NBA offseason, the draft. With the first pick in the 2022 NBA draft, the Orlando Magic select Paolo Bancaro from Duke University. Being a, a young player out of college, going into the whole draft process, that was a it was a life-changing experience. You're about to enter the place that you've been dreaming of your whole life. So for me, I was so excited, but 
You know, there's also like those nerves of the unknown. You know, you don't know what you're getting into. You don't know where you're going to land. The Oklahoma City Thunder select Chet Holmgren from Gonzaga University. You know, it, was a, it was a crazy experience, uh, but and I was blessed to, enough to be able to come here. And I say for, for any young guys just to take advantage of that uh, the opportunity to have fun with it, enjoy it, and just be yourself, play your game. It's a moment you never forget when you're hearing your name called and just seeing like how proud your family is of you for that night. But then the next day, it's like straight to work. Like I flew into Detroit, met everybody, and then it was, we started working. I'm excited for some work and that's where I'm gonna spend most of my time at. So I was really excited, man, excited to be here. The Houston Rockets select Jabari Smith Jr. Being a young player, you know, entering the league last year, you know, I was just eager to learn, uh, you know, eager to play against the stars that, you know, I've been growing up watching for a long time. I'm excited to see where guys go, like, honestly. So I just hope they enjoy the process and just take it all in because it goes by fast. With the fourth pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Keegan Murray from the University of Iowa. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, if you're going with best available player, I think this is the best available player at number five, and I don't think there's much question about it. You know, Jaden Ivey's the best athlete in this draft. Right. I mean, he's the best athlete in this draft. You mentioned Troy Weaver, like Jalen Green's athleticism. If he likes athleticism, <laughs> Jaden Ivey's got it. Chris. Uh, Jaden Ivey, Purdue. How you doing, buddy? Good. Confirming Jaden Ivey from Purdue. Yep. Got it. Thanks, Sean. With the fifth pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Jaden Ivey from Purdue University. This is, this is everything, man. I, I work day in and day out to just get to this level. And, you know, I, I know I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. And I'm just, I'm just... I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. <laughs> I am overwhelmed with excitement. You know, Detroit's home and it's very close to me at, at Notre Dame. And grandfather played with the Lions. You know, his grandmother lives there. You know, dad's from there. So it's like, this is like home. I was hoping it'd be Detroit. And uh, not to, for it to be Detroit is really crazy. Let's go, baby. Congrats, bro. You deserve it, bro. No, you deserve it, baby. I'm a piston, bro. <laughs> Everything we talked about. Okay, buddy, thank you. Okay, welcome aboard. All right, all right, bye-bye. So far, so good. Tonight has been as action-packed as I've been around. I don't think we're done yet. We're Jalen Burns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 seconds. Burns there, right? He's there. Yes. We have a deal. With the 13th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Jalen Durant from the University of Memphis. It's the craziest night ever. <laughs> <laughs> craziest night ever. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Detroit was actually my first workout. I had a great relationship with the, uh, with the front office, um, Coach Dwayne Casey, and I'm just excited to be going there with a, with a player like Jay Nog. I feel like he's a great player. I mean, I like his game. I feel like we're going to be a great young core. But I'm coming to work. I'm coming to win. Um, I know the city of Detroit wants to win. I know they love basketball, and I just want them to know I'm going to give them my all. Pretty much came together after the Ivy pick, and um, we were aggressive, um, making it happen. But we're excited about him and looking forward to uh, seeing what he brings, you know, right away. We're taking him at 36. We're building. Uh, we're building it the right way. We're getting the right uh, guys in the building. Coach has done a tremendous job. I couldn't be more thankful and grateful for this opportunity. Our staff, we wake up every day uh, excited about what's ahead of us. Motor City, baby. Yeah, 
week. What up, though? Just landed in Detroit, man. Super excited, ready to get started. Can't wait. Today is a tremendous day to welcome in our two newest players to our team and organization. Uh, we're thrilled that we landed here with these two young men. I always said that at the end of the day, God will place you where you need to be. And God placed these two young men here. And we're excited that uh, they landed here. Can't wait to have them put on piston uniforms and continue to push us forward. We're excited to have them. I talked to our players last night, you know, Cade and Sadiq and Isaiah and those guys, they were excited. Can't wait to get started with them. Two of the most dynamic players in, in college basketball this season. Welcome aboard. First, I want to thank Tom Guerras for his incredible support and encouragement. And Jaden, we talk about your family history, so we wanted just to recognize that history and give you some additional jerseys. A jersey of your grandfather, James Hunter, who played with the Lions. There's your father, Javen, who played for Detroit Country Day. And finally, there's your mom, Niel, who played for the Shock. We're so happy to have you and Jalen, and we're looking forward to a great run going forward. So welcome. I'm just so honored and you know blessed to be in this position today. You know, the background that I have with my family, so to be here and to be a person, it's a blessing. Being here has been amazing for me so far. Everybody's treated me like family since I first met them. And I'm just honored and ready to get to work. 